Here it go. Gotta get my mind off of this bullshit yesterday. This is where it's at now. We own this shit, guys. I'm in Bank of America. Every goddamn year I'm in this shit. You know what I'm saying? Thursday, let's get it popping. Yeah. Alright, what's up, WDN, man? CB, I'm back. You know, let's just go ahead, man. Um, let this game go yesterday. This is a new week. Um, and shit, two and a half more days, man. We're going to be getting it on and popping with Carolina. It's no use to keep holding on to the shit. We had all day yesterday to, you know, digest that shit and get rid of it. You know, this is a new week. Um, shit, got my workout in this morning. You know, got rid of the remaining you know, I ain't got had from that shit. But anyway, it is what it is. Your boy, I'm back. Um, it's time to move on. We got the Panthers coming up Thursday night. Bank of America. I'm going to be in that bitch. Um, we got to blow it up, WDN. You know, I go there every year, but I hate, you know, I don't love nothing about it. The reason why I go to the shit is, you know, because my boys in there, you know, and I'm going to rep my boys, you know, but. You know, like nothing about the stadium. Look like a high school field. But, um, you know, I'm in there every year. So, I'll be there Thursday night. You know, um, you know, say no more, man. We already know what we got to do. You know, we, we don't beat them, you know, the first time. First time the game was closer than it should have been. You know, but, you know, it is what it is. We got, we got that lead on them. We was up, what, 20 21 nothing. We should have ran away with it, you know. We got to get that jump this game, early jump, and we got to keep the gas pedal going. We can't let them get back in the game, you know. Or, you know, we if we don't want, you know, the shit that happened Sunday, you know, with the refs getting involved and shit, how about we just step on the gas pedal and let's just keep it moving. You know, that's what we got to do. I'm going to say this, then I'm going to get on with the shit. We already, you know, every team in the NFL, it's not been one team per week, you know, done, the game done ended on some bullshit, you know, with the refs. Some call or some shit done had a, a influence on the lookout of a game or the possible, you know, scenario that could have been played in the game. So, you know, it's every week we... These refs are part-time, most of them, so, you know, that's what we're going to have to deal with. If the game come down, you know, hopefully they just, we got to cross our fingers, hope they make the right call. And that's for every team, you know, in the NFL. They're going to have to cross their fingers, hope the refs make the right call. You know what I'm saying? So, regardless of what the sideline look like, why would you... If guys gonna be wearing white cleats, why why do you want to have the sidelines painted white, pure white? You know, you gotta make it some type of grayish or something to where you can tell. You know, but anyway, it's it's over with. I'm just saying, I say that because you know we'll be in that same situation again Thursday if we um you know if we let these niggas hang around you know and it's coming down to the last possessions or last two possessions and then it something end up happening you know and then the refs got to get involved and then some bs can possibly happen right there some bs can possibly go down so we get up on them why not just push the gas pedal and keep it moving that first game it shouldn't even been that close i i don't i don't get it we got to get press on cam again. We got Sheldon to help us out. Shout out to Sheldon. Got his first set last week. You know, Paul Kruger, he stepped it up yesterday. Danelle, he stepped it up. Hopefully, I pray to God, you know, this man is out there Thursday night. You know, he was moving around looking good. Played the entire game. So, I just pray that this man is out there Thursday night. 
you know, just when you out there, we you you can make an impact. But Delvin, you know, like I said, you had a, a average o to okay game. You know, Thursday night, man, it's, you know I had two games to get back in the groove. It's just time to step it up Thursday. We we I know you gonna step up, but you know I'm just letting it be known, man. It's time to step up Thursday. Um, shit, man, that's basically it. We already know the lineups on both ends. You know, we play these guys twice a year. Um, and as far as the standards, man, we already know where we stand at. You know, we four and five. You know, now the whole the div now the whole division is basically in the race. Now, you know, we could have just made it a one two at this point. You know, a one two man race. You know, but. You know, I honestly think Tampa, you know, they're not going to make no noise at the end for us, you know, fight for the division, you know. But at the same time, the shit is still close. I didn't want to, you know, be looking at the, at the division and shit, but, you know, I have to, man. You know, just glad, you know, Atlanta, they lost another game so we can stay within the game. But at the same time, we got to take care of our own shit. You know, if we lose and they lose, they that ain't going to help us out. They can lose the rest of theirs. If we lose the rest of ours, then what is that going to help? You understand what I'm saying? So, we just got to keep it, you know. We played good yesterday, man. Really ain't, you know, we, we got off to a bad start. And we had turnovers. You know, bad play calling on third and one. We can't get in a shotgun on third and one, you know. This defense, yeah, we can move the ball, but remember Luke Keekley, Thomas Davis, they over there on that side. Charles Johnson on that side. Karan Short. Well, I think our O line gonna be good with, you know, with they line, but you know, they got some linebackers just, you know, playing good. You know, they they DBs not all that, but we still let's just be smart and conservative with this shit. You know, Carolina, it's it's a do or die for both for both squads, honestly. Honestly. And it's a do or die for us for the wild card shit. You know, we we in the race for the division and the wild card. We still in the hunt for both, but you know, if we be finished, I think the wild card is gonna it's gonna be a ten and six team. I I, I think it is. Nine and seven, maybe. But that's put more pressure on us, man. We lose, we lose Thursday. You, t we're gonna have to go like on the street, you know, the rest of the season. And that's the finish ten and six. We we don't want to be in that predicament, man. Let's take care of business Thursday. Get the sour taste out of our mouth, man. The shit is over. We can't do nothing. I'm done bitching and whining about it. The shit is over. Carolina's Thursday. We gotta. This is a division four. You know, they better than they record. I honestly think they is. You know, I don't think they, they not shit compared to last year, but when it come down to it, they really not a true three and six team. And that's not giving them no respect to that. That's just being honest. You know, they an average club. You know, we're we're not a we're better than the average club. It don't show on the record because, you know, we ain't been pursuing shit at the end of games, but Fuck all that. Thursday night, Bank of America. I'm in there. Let's get it popping. Um, Panther fans, you know. All y'all get respect, really. I mean, I hate your fucking team, you know what I'm saying? You know, the, at least the ones on here, The Pan I'm talking to the Panther fans on here. You know, y'all um, pretty much, other than eight camel toes, you know, every one of y'all... You know, seem like y'all some loyalty fans. Y'all know about your team. You know, know about football and shit. But anyway, man, it's your boy CB. I'm out.